Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that today finds you uh, in good health, both physically as well as in your walk with Jesus. Please follow those guidelines that have been established to help stop the spread of the virus that is sweeping across our country. And if you need anything, please, please let us know here at church and we'll try to help you in any way we can. As we move into week two of our self-isolation, I thought I would share some humorous, or depending on your point of view, maybe not so humorous, questions and answers that are related to the Bible in the hopes that God would lift your spirits during these unprecedented times. So here we go. Question, what kind of man was Boaz before he was married? Answer, he was ruthless. You see where this is going. Question, who was the greatest male financial genius in the Bible? Answer, Noah. He was floating his stock while everybody else was in liquidation. Question, who is the greatest female financial genius in the Bible? Answer, Pharaoh's daughter. She went down to the bank of the Nile and she withdrew a little profit. Question, what kind of cars are mentioned in the Bible? Answer, well, God drove Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden in a fury. David's triumph was heard throughout the land. And in the book of Acts, we know that all the disciples were in one accord. Question, what affliction brought about the death of Samson? Answer, fallen arches. Question, what excuse did Adam give to his children as to why they could no longer live in the Garden of Eden? Answer, your mother ate us out of house and home. Question, who is the greatest babysitter in the Bible? Answer, David. He rocked Goliath into a very deep sleep. Question, which servant of God was the most flagrant lawbreaker in the Bible? Answer, Moses. He broke all ten commandments at once. Question, besides Adam and Eve, which other Bible character had no parents? Answer, Joshua, son of Nun. Question, who was the straightest man in the Bible? Answer, Joseph. The Pharaoh made him into a ruler. Question, how did Jonah feel when he got swallowed up by that great fish? Answer, he was down in the mouth. And this one, this one's not really Bible related, but it is church related. Question, what do they call pastors in Germany? Answer, German shepherds. Well, I want you to know that I consider it a privilege to be your shepherd, to be your pastor. And if there's anything that I can do for you in this time when we are apart, please, please call me and let me know. And today I want to ask you to pray specifically for our high school and college students. Those who are looking forward to prom or to uh, graduation, these um, once-in-a-lifetime events are kind of sad because these events are now canceled. And our college students are anxious because uh, their education, their classes, you know, they're up in the air right now. Not quite sure what this summer and fall are going to bring. And some of them have uh, lost their part-time jobs. So I think it would be a, a good thing if you could to pray for them and Maybe even give them a phone call or write them a note, send it in the mail to encourage them and to help them through these uncertain days. Hebrews 10.35 tells us that we need to encourage one another all the more as we see the day of Christ's return approaching. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.